Hello everyone, it's Agnes coming to you with the uh, new pattern, a candy corn uh, plaid, I would say. So I'm just going to use uh, my back of my pumpkin um, to do it. This is my first time trying. I promised that I will attempt this one. So as with, the, uh, with, with any patterns, you do want it to get a nice solid background. So I'm painting my uh, a pumpkin uh, solid white with my chalk paint, but you can of course use the acrylic too. Okay, so now all is dry and it has to be really dry. So it's time to tape. Because I am attempting the uh, um, candy corn, I do want to again create a twist. And you know, I am always trying to think, make things uh, look a little bit different. Okay, so let's talk patterns. So as you can see, is I'm using the masking tape to create my pattern to make life easier. And of course, my head hair is getting into it. I was so into it. So um, as you can see is I did fold, you saw it earlier, I did fold my masking tape in half and I created myself a guide to add my stripes to because my goal in this uh, candy corn um, pattern, I want, um, I want the stripes to be different widths. So here I go, I'm taping it away. <laughs> and of course the wind is blowing, you know, and I cannot glue things to it. But again, it's happening almost at the end. See, I am on really on a mission over here, but it's again, you could use um, two different, obviously, widths of the masking tape and glue each one of them to, um, to the board and then make life easier. But you know me, I always use what I have. And I was at some point actually thinking about switching to a popsicle stick, the, the skinnier one that you can get from Dollar Tree. But you know what? I said, well, no, because that may be a little bit different. So it's done. Made sure that everything is nicely attached to it, to my board, because if we're going to start painting, we do not want, um, a, a, you know, the paint to bleed a little bit, even though it is a mask tape so it's supposed to hold it nice okay so now I'm starting with my uh, first uh, stripe so I'm painting my white portion um, in between um, the tape uh, yellow a yellow is very difficult color so um, it, it most likely I will end up adding two but so when you finish uh, painting that, and of course you just gotta go in a one same motion, don't go sideways because you may lift up the paint. You need to dry this completely before you remove, I call the bandaid, no, before you strip the paint. I mean the strips of the uh, tape. And it does actually look pretty good. I mean, even though they at least straight, <laughs> sort of straight, so now it's time to add um, additional, um, you know, stripes. So obviously you can only do it when you know that the paint, um, the yellow or whatever color you used is completely dry. So I'm doing the same thing using my guide half folded uh, masking tape as my guide. And thank goodness for those bumps, as I told you in the, on the bottom of my uh, pumpkin that helped me figure out my... Um, pattern my angles on my pumpkin so here we go all is completed see i told you it's quick so now i'm taking the orange paint and i am painting oh look at this i already splatter but thank goodness <laughs> it's all taped so i am actually painting now the orange on the uh, opposite side so that was literally the same thing we've been doing it last night but the stripes were the same width not half folded like i did here and they were actually a, a, a little bit different colors, <laughs> but I will for sure make another video to show it to you. So now, obviously, I, I had to dry it with my um, heat gun, um, my paint, before I you remove the strips of the uh, masking tape, because you do not want to smear by any accident any paint. So here we go. I'm okay with the pattern. It's not a perfect one, but you know what? Now it's time um, to move on to a step number three. And that will be the same thing which you do in a buffalo check that it was sort of confusing. So I am bringing a black color because we're doing the candy corn and we're doing the Halloween version. You paint um, the, uh, the squares that were painted twice. So that means it's where the color, um, the two colors um, are crossed. 
So that's the same thing as in any buffalo check. So I decided to use my markers that I purchased actually on a weekend with you guys at the five below or five under store. So it, so to keep my lines a little bit, um, you know, straight. As I'm looking at it right now, I actually could have painted all the stripes, the yellow and um, and orange, the same width as my white wa wa white wear. But you know what? I always make things, um, you know, difficult for myself, of course. But I do want to make it easy for you. So um, as you can see, as I'm almost done, now it's time to add additional details. I don't know about you, but for me, painting and, you know, doing the long projects, um, it's actually super rewarding and relaxing. So here we go. I, it's sort of painted. So now I do wanted to bring a thinner uh, marker to this whole uh, pattern and add additional details. And as I told you, th this was something based on a napkin that I actually have, the pattern. I simply look at the napkin and I decided, hey, I can do it. And of course you can do it. So now I'm taking whatever I have again next to me. Uh, this time I'm using a, a sharp, I mean the straight edge of the nail filer from the Dollar Tree to create my lines. You'll be thinking I should be using the ruler. And now I'm making uh, a, a thin lines that are very close together and they supposedly be in the middle of it, but you know, whatever. And um, I'm creating additional pattern. I'm telling you, even though my head is popping here and there, it is a super rewarding uh, process, at least for me. I forget about my hot flashes. <laughs> okay, so now my uh, little ruler uh, is too short. So now I'm using the wood shim, you know? they still straight. They may be different thickness, but they still straight. So as I always tell you, do not have anything hold you back. You just use what you have and things are getting done. So now when you do ones across, you go with um, the same line the other way because we are constantly creating patterns on the top of the patterns. I lie, I was a little bit um, um, worried at the beginning when I was making this. Um, but um, I have to tell you, even my wonky lines that I painted in the middle of the black and now my uh, marker lines, everything seems to like fall together, you know, comes together and, you know, not much of the wonkiness is being shown. And it's again, it's a handmade item that I've, not that I've rushed through it, but I know this is my first time. So now I know what the uh, deals are and look how pretty this looks. All what you need a little flower, but I'm not going to obviously add anything to it and glue it. I'm just going to put right there just so we can see and i'm going to create embellishment with you later live but so here it is um a close-up look to a pattern we just made so i'm calling it a candy corn plaid aka another buffalo check done a little bit differently so don't you be confused and please take the cardboard and show it to me that you've done it that, that my directions were not confusing Again, thanks for watching, and if you did enjoy, please don't forget to sprinkle and spread the news that there are fun projects here. Thanks again. Bye.